the music stopped? Oh, I see. When I get too far away, the music stops. But have you ever wondered how music moves through the air from my iPod to my headphones? Let's find out. Whoa, that's a lot of colors. It's like a rainbow. Those colors represent energy. Isn't that awesome? Energy is what makes my music go to my ears. But not all energy is the same. This is called the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's say it together. Electromagnetic spectrum. This part of the spectrum is energy we can see, like light. It's how I see you and you see me. It's also how we see colors everywhere. Can you think of your favorite color? Mine is purple. This section has energy we can't see, but thanks to my special magnifying glass, we can take a look. This kind of energy is how different pieces of technology talk to each other. Can you think of some things in your house that use energy to communicate? Things in your house that use energy are your TV remote, a computer, a cell phone, or anything that uses Bluetooth. Like these. The waves can be bigger or smaller for different types of energy. The kind of energy that technology uses has bigger waves. They're wide and slow. The energy that we can see has smaller waves that are skinnier and closer together. And the energy all the way over here has even tinier waves. These tiny waves include ultraviolet light that you get from the sun and x-ray machines that check to make sure your bones are strong. We can also hear energy as it travels through the air in waves. That's how you hear me talk. Nakira, come down for dinner. Coming! The energy waves in the air is also how we hear music. But if the waves are too big or way too small, it gets hard to hear them. Just like it's hard to see other energy if its waves are too big or too small. Energy is all around us. You just have to look and listen and keep an eye out for where energy could be when I see you again. Nakira. Oh, I've got to eat. <laughs>